Welcome back to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. If there is a team that is confusing Kenyans, it's the Mount Kenya team. Especially that, especially this group that uh, William Ruto has formed to ensure that they check Rigedi Keshago. Yesterday, Rigedi Keshago boycotted uh, a chat function in Nyeri and he went straight to the other chat function in Kirinyaga. Now, many people watched that event and Waiguru was hosting Rigedi Geshagwa and they had a cordial moment. When I checked social media, most of uh, the Geshagwa, you know, followers were saying that Anne Waiguru and Dindi Nyoro have realized that Mount Kenya does not want to do anything to do with William Samuel Ruto. And they said that Waiguru is wise because she has ditched William Ruto. Because they were like, if Waiguru could host Rigedi Geshagwa there, then it means she had made a U-turn. And I remember I did, uh, I did a video on the same. It is now turning out that Waiguru was not expecting Rigedi Geshagwa. In fact, Waiguru was given 2 million Kenya shillings to give to that church. And that is why that's why William Ruto was expecting Rigedi Gashagwa in his Nyeri event. Because if he had sent Rigedi Gashagwa, Rigedi Gashagwa is, is in terms of a hierarchy, pecking order. And if he was to give any donation, if he had sent Rigedi Gashagwa, then he would have given it to Rigedi Gashagwa. But instead, he gave it to Anwai Guru. Now, Anwai Guru just played cool because... I know there was nothing he could do. Rigedi Gashagwa had uh, come to that function. It is like he get crushed. So today, Anwai Guru decided to put the record straight. And she was explaining that that was not Rigadi's function. Rigadi came there. She's telling off Rigadi that you're not the only person who can lead Mount Kenya. You've got very many able sons and daughters that can become Mount Kenya spokespeople. Can you take a look? Mimi jana nilikuwa nimetumwa na mwishumwa raisa kuwa meweza kuja kule baricho na nilipatia mesej yake. Simuliona nilifikisha. Tuwa gabu pia kikuyuni viongozi wako. Kama ni wa viongozi wanatafutwa wa kutoka Central Kenya viongozi wako. Na kiongozi ya siji ya kafikiria yeye tu peke yake njwaneza ongoza watu wa Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya iko na options. Central Kenya iko na options. Watu wanaeza jitolea bora sisi tuwe ndani ya sereka, ya serekali, sindio? Na hapa kirinyaga tulisema jana. Na mimi sana sana tanapenda kuongea maneno ya kazi. Watu wa kirinyaga walinichagua kwa sababu campaign yangu nilisema kazi ifanya nini? Kazi liongea ama ijaongea? Bado kazi naongea ama haiongei? Watu wa kirinyaga ni watu werevu sana. Na usidi ukadanganyo kwa sababu umefika kirinyaga ukapigiwa makofi Ati utakuja uwabebe wote uwapeleke kule unataka Hawa watu watakuangalia na kuambia Tu ato ukisikia ni kiwauliza sasa Mutu wakikuja hapa wambie ah, uta, Muta nipatia kura Ivo ndio wanajibu Mwingine anakuja saa nane Anasema muta nipatia kura Ehe wale wale tu wawasa kumi anarudi na nikiti ile moja Muta nipatia kura Siku ya uchaguzi nafika Na wambia kama hamjui ulizeni dada yangu Ule alikuwa mejaribu kuchukua kura za watu wa kirinyaga Motila amanyora mwe kire tata Ehe mbaka hakuwa amini Yeye na amini zilibiwa lakini ukweli ni kwamba hakuwa na kura izozo Sindio Kwa sababu wata kiti ya MCA ya kupata moja. Mimi watu wa kirinyaga ni watu werevu sana. Na sisi tumejipanga ndani ya serikali. Na serikali ni ya William Samoei Ruto. William Samoei Ruto. Na tulizunguka tukiomba kura tukisema hivo. Sisi tuko ndani ya serikali ni miaka mbili tu. Tunataka maendeleo ya endelee kuja hapa kirinyaga. Na sisi atuwezi kujitoa kwa serikali atituende upande wa upinzani. Sio leo na sio 2027. Mutakubali kuenda upinzani kweli? 
ati mtu aseme sisi tukushikane sisi watu wa Kirinyaga na watu wa Mount Kenya tutashikana tu kwa mlengo moja tutashikana upande wa Now I was talking to someone from Mount Kenya and he was telling me that Anwe Guru was actually expecting deputy. She knew the deputy would be there and she really received the deputy president. And there's a feeling that when State House saw the kind of reception that Anwe Guru gave Rigathi Gashagwa and that Rigathi Gashagwa was the senior most politician there, they were not very happy because they wanted someone to speak against Rigathi's new role of uniting Mount Kenya. Now, that did not happen because Rigathi carried with him only members of parliament who are allied to him, including the senator of, uh, of Kiambu, who has switched camps. He was actually on in Ruto's camp. Now, because of uh, the manner in which Kimani Chungwa is playing his politics, he has decided that they're not going to be in the same camp with uh, Kimani Chungo is also coming from, from Kiambu. So all those who were there were supporting Rigedi Gishagwa. In fact, what happened, most of the people who were there attacked and told off those who are uh, against Rigedi's style of politics of uniting Mount Kenya. So this did not go down well with the, with the state house. And I'm being told that there was deliberate instructions that Anwai Guru makes, you know, her stand very clear. That's why she decided that she tells of Rigedi Gashagwa. Of course, we've seen her saying that they're not going to, they, do, they don't want to be outside the government that she has made. Now, is there any political implications for Anwai Guru? Because obviously, she has joined the, band, the, the bandwagon of those who are uh, advocating for Rigadi Osta or something. Because Mount Kenya is regrouping, and in 2027, we are going to see whether Mount Kenya has regrouped or not. Anwai Guru told us that those who are quoting Mount Kenya should understand that you can only rent a Kikuyu, but you cannot buy one. There seems to be a paradigm shift, a narrative rather, that it is now the turn of Mount Kenya East, Kithure Kindiki. But if you watch my earlier video, William Ruto is tossing this from you know one person to the other. Earlier, it was either Didi Nyoro, after sometimes they tell you know Kithure Kindiki. Now it is the turn of Kithure, Kithure Kindiki. After sometimes you will see the very very people looking for another another leader from Mount Kenya. You would even be surprised that there will be a narrative that will be created by NIS or State House or Deep State that it is time for a woman, um, a woman deputy. And it will be running, and you know, in the social media, the communication team of the president will be running it. It is meant to keep, you know, Mount Kenya busy. It is meant to keep Mount Kenya busy, you know, talking about this or that. It is also meant that they forget the real issues that they need to talk about. Someone was asking, why can't Mount Kenya speak about real issues? What about things like one man, one shilling, one vote? Where did it go? It is because of this little shenanigans, this kind of politics that Ruto is giving them. For Rano Iguru, I don't think there is any political implication because she's doing her two terms. Either way, if she decides to ditch Ruto, she will not need Ruto in 2027, not unless she wants to become part of the government that William Ruto will form or she wants to become a running mate. If she decides to ditch Rigadi Gashagwa now, obviously there's no implication because she will not want to run for any political seat, not unless she wants to become a president. So she's free. She can do anything. Now, when you look at the statements of Anwai Guru, it is coincident to the other team that recently declared that they want, you know, Kithure Kindiki to become the, you know, the, the, the mouthpiece of Mount Kenya. This behoves one to ask, who exactly is the Mount Kenya kingpin? Many people still tell me it is Uhuru Kenyatta. Some are saying, no, 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 Rigedi Gashagwa has cut a need for himself and he is becoming a force to reckon with. Others are saying that don't be cheated, it is William Ruto. But if you ask me, William Ruto has lost control of Mount Kenya. He's only clutching into anything. He's like a drowning man. 
he has lost. If you look at the common mwananchi, those who used to sing for him and sing at Upangwingwi, no, those people are not with William Ruto. And even with the leaders, because I even saw Kimani Ngunjiri saying that William Ruto should stop interfering with Ugedi Geshagwa, that the more he does this, the more they build Ugedi Geshagwa. But if you look at it very keenly, maybe William Ruto wants to build Ugedi Geshagwa. And you see, you build him by fighting him. I no longer trust these politicians. That is how Uru Kenyatta built William Ruto. Because there are people who didn't even know Rigeti Geshagwa. But now, when the news headlines everywhere is about Rigeti Geshagwa, they are building him, they are giving him, you know, sympathy. But Mount Kenya will decide for themselves. I'm sure that be, by the end of 2026, we shall have known who is controlling Mount Kenya. There must be a kingpin, there must be a de facto leader. Rigeti Geshagwa, Geshagwa is saying he's not, he's not intimidated and he will continue. And he's saying listen to the ground. I don't know whether these are the leaders who are listening to the ground or it is Geshago who is listening to the ground. We are yet to see.